Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Rahul, and in this video, I'll be discussing with you a bug that has been there for literally ages and can still be found in the wild. Gives you good amount of bounty, and along the video, I'll be sharing with you some of the resources which will show you how you can bypass some of the client side and the server side filters. And also, I'll be sharing with you my journey of how or or my experience of a similar bug. So. As you can see here, this was a cross-site scripting bug on dashboard2.omice.co and this was found by this gentleman. Now if you see here, what the gentleman did was, he logged into his account, went to this um, endpoint and literally just used the simplest payload which was script and he was able to trigger an XSS which was specifically I would say this was a stored XSS. So, but this, this you will not find in most of the sites as of now because there are client side as well as server side filters applied to these specific keywords and some other tags as well and this is what exactly happened was when i was testing for one of our clients so what exactly happened was whenever i was typing in any payload it was filtering it straight out not only was it filtering any such payload but also all the special attributes which were available but nevertheless there are a lot of things that you can try to do in order to accomplish or to get a XSS. So the first of the things that you can try to do is using these simple payloads that would work for you. Many sites what they do is they filter for the word alert and they look for the script keyword. But you can also try to use confirm instead of alert because not many people know about this word or this function spe specifically. There are still a lot of payloads that you can try and I would recommend you to try custom payloads because they work they often work so as you can see here this is a payload list from port figure great great resource and i would highly recommend you to go through it so what happened was as you can see here you can see a lot of payloads here and these are browser specific and you can also look for all the browsers you can literally choose from any of the events and attributes from this because many times what will happen is as the as, as it was in my case almost all of these were whitelisted sorry almost all of these were blacklisted except for a tag and the table tag so though i wasn't able to trigger the xss because it was also filtering for events so which only left me with an empty anchor tag but still i was able to embed links but in your case what might happen that all of these could have could be blacklisted so in that case what you can try to do is you can use custom tags so if you click on the custom tags and if you visit down the page or just here you can see that there are a lot of tags that you can try from as you can see this these are the custom tags that you can make use of also what i found helpful was this filter evasion cheat sheet from OWASP that I would link in the description of this video. There are a lot and lot of variants that you can try out and check for yourself if that works for you. So thank you guys. I hope this was of some help to you.